Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. As you can see in the early part of the video, I went fishing today, but I didn't do any catching. Uh, last weekend though, I did catch four uh, suckers. Uh, uh, they're classified like red suckers, I guess. Um, a sucker is not a carp, it is a rough fish. And in the spring on this river, we have a pretty good run. So um, I, I do like to catch a few. Normally, what I do is can them. If you fillet them, you end up with a lot of bones. If you can them, the bones actually disintegrate. You can make a nice patty with them and fry them up. So that's what I'm going to do today. Unfortunately, I can't show you how to clean them because uh, I did that last weekend and I had some camera trouble. So anyway, in the meantime, I did can uh, can up some pints and you know just regular uh, cur ball jar uh, full, fill it up. The normal canning procedures and you know pressure can them or rather pressure cooked and can and then uh, basically you make a patty out of them and fry them and they're pretty good um, that way so today that's what I'm gonna try to do here at the cabin um, I also have some asparagus I'd like to say it was harvested wild but it's not it's a little bit early here yet and as far as the sucker run, the sucker run is over. So, just like on the Wisconsin, the walleye run is over. So, uh, spring spring is uh, comes and goes in a hurry here. And uh, as a matter of fact, last weekend we still had snow on the ground. So, that tells you how it is. But today it's beautiful, 55 degrees I'd say, and sunny. So we're gonna get to going on this and see what happens. The first thing you want to do, obviously, is get a good fire going. Uh, normally I use red oak uh, for cooking fire. Get your cast iron out. I actually haven't used this since last fall. we will have to oil it again. So we'll throw a little oil in it. Normally I use canola. Um, canola oil is handy. Uh, it, it's uh, cheap. You can get it anywhere, pretty much and uh, it has a high smoke point so it doesn't actually burn easily so basically I put the oil in and I just kind of take a cloth spread it around do the lid wipe up like I said it's been sitting I mean it's it was covered you know it was closed up and all that but I don't know there's always seems like there's ash and stuff from the last time I used it so we do that And then I put it on the fire. Yeah, we'll throw some more canola oil in it before we fry, you know, once we throw the fish in. What you end up doing here, basically, you take a mixture of onions. I pre-cut everything, and I like a lot of onions. Take your onions and I always use panko breadcrumbs. So honestly, the recipe is kind of like a crab, like a crab cake in a way. I've seen different kinds of recipes use different kind of stuff. And that's one thing that they do seem to use. And then, of course, your can sucker. Now, it looks kind of mushed because I carried it and backpacked it out here, so it got pretty mushy, which is okay because the breadcrumbs are actually what gives it its rigidity. So you make it. Obviously, I'm going to make a big batch. So, you know, I have, oh, I have our pint jars. So, and you just mix it all together. The liquid from the fish, of course, suck up into their, the panko breadcrumbs, suck that up. And then the onions give it the flavor. And then you throw a couple eggs in so that it holds together. And pretty much that's really the recipe. You can put in Old Bay. You can put in salt. I normally don't add salt because when I can, before I can the suckers or before I can any fish, I usually have it... Um, in salt water overnight and it helps stiffen everything up you know in canning it doesn't really matter like with this type of fish because it, it does get pretty loose but other types of fish 
uh, if you put salt on them and then can them, they actually will keep their shape. Like catfish, for example. You know, it's a white fish, but it's pretty, you know, pretty rigid. Now, salmon still doesn't. I mean, I, you know, you buy canned salmon, it looks pretty much like that. It's comes out solid, but, you know, whatever you do with it, it's going to make, you know, it's going to do what it wants to do, and it's going to fall apart. So, it's not like fresh fish, but, and like I said, suckers, you can see here, or any fish that has a lot of bones that you don't want to try to pick out while you're eating, you know, you can just, you just can them, and then the bones are very soft, and actually there's good calcium, good nutrition within those bones. So, now, we'll throw some oil on our pan, or I mean on our black iron, and uh, in our pot, and see if we can drop some of these in here and make patties, and I'll show you how they fry. They actually fry up pretty fast. It's looking pretty hot. It sounds fizzy. Get a little bit of water. about the way you want it. Try to get it to level out with a little bit of oil. Having, having some leather gloves helps a lot. That black iron gets hot. Then all you do is do like that, drop them in there. Like I said, this is more of a, almost like a crab puff, a seafood puff. We got the oil right, which it looks pretty close. I don't, I don't use a thermometer or anything. I just guess at it. We got the oil close. It'll start getting brown all over underneath. You really can do this with any fish. You probably don't want to put the lid on it. This helps uh, relieve the moisture out. So you can see this one here already is starting to look. Looking golden brown underneath. You can just see the edges. I don't know if it shows up on the camera, but this one too actually. I threw them in first. That was the first one. A little big. Maybe they make them smaller. Another good thing to do on the campfire is a hush puppy. I don't know if anybody likes those, but a little bit of oil, make a stiff cornmeal mixture. Hush puppies and uh, catfish go good together. Actually hush puppies and just about any fish go good together. Uh, a lot of times I like rice. Uh, today I have just vegetable because I'm going to have more than enough fish for myself. I am by myself. The egg should hold it all together. Yep, there it is. Then you flip it over. How nice that looks. When I put them out, when I pull them out, I put them on a paper toweling, just like if you're deep frying. Even though you're not deep frying, it helps relieve the oil. So get rid of some of that oil. I'll turn our other one. And if you want to put the heat up, want to crank the heat up on them, you can always put the lid on for a little bit. That traps the heat and traps the moisture too. You can hear that water. That's the moisture from the fish, from the patties. And it's smelling really good. 
and that's done. That's all there is to it. Like I said, looks like a little crab puff. Asparagus, I just want softened up, so that won't take long. That's usually pretty good raw anyway, but we'll, once we got a hot fire, saute it up. tenderize somewhat. You can burn them pretty quick, so don't overcook them. Take that off the fire. Put that up here. Cool off a little bit. Black iron will keep cooking, so you got to be careful. Make sure you pull it off in time. There you go. Thank you for coming out to the cabin with me fishing. Uh, fishing is not catching, and today was not catching, so didn't catch anything. Uh, last weekend I did, and uh, I canned them, and then we made like almost like a crab puff. Uh, I don't know what you'd call it, but. And it is pretty tasty. I've had it many times. And something about on an open campfire with your black iron just makes it taste better. So I appreciate watching the video. Like, subscribe, and share. And uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.